Rich, helmsman for Emirates Team New Zealand. We've had uh, day 16 in the LEQ today. I would say maybe as low as 10, as much as 18, quite flat sea. Can you break the day down for us? Yeah, it was actually pretty similar to what we had here yesterday. You know, soft around midday and um, you know, tr pretty tricky getting out of the harbour, but you know, once you get down to the back paddock, it's a, it's a good training area down there and you can see why um, you know, the team's named it the back paddock. You get out there and you have plenty of space to do you know, some lineups and um, you know, some practice starts and some racing and you know, it was an awesome day. It certainly felt awesome from where we were watching. Uh, we set a two mile course, approximately two mile windward lured course. Nice wide gate at the bottom to double as a start line. Uh, two or three practice starts and then two actual races. Yeah, it's good. It's good fun, you know, to be thinking about racing. Obviously, this far out is, you know, um, sometimes a bit strange because you know it's often a design race. But uh, you know, we have this fantastic opportunity to have two AC40s and um, enough sailing team that you know we can get out there and, and do little stints of, of racing as well to kind of remind us what the priorities are when it comes to racing too so that's been pretty cool and um you know good to get all the the data and software up and running and um you know for me learning how the team software works a bit different to what i'm used to and uh yeah it's been really cool to, to get into it awesome now with the uh we're obviously going to be in generation two ac 75s for the for the event itself Everybody's going to be that much closer than they were in 2021. Match racing and, and race craft is going to be a, a far bigger component in, in the event. Are we going to see more out there manoeuvres in a pre-start rather than the, the, the bear away, line up your timing and come back? I think we will. Because the pre-start all comes down to how big that starting box is and how windy it is. And you know, today we've had quite breezy conditions, and by having breezy conditions, the start box feels small. So, you know, we weren't too far off doing circles in the pre-start because you are a bit crammed in there. And I think ultimately, as you said, the boats will be more evenly matched, and it'll come down to the starts. And you know, we saw in the final of the last America's Cup, you know, whoever won the start generally won the race. It was pretty hard to get. By boat, so uh, you know, hence the, the focus on the racing, hence the focus on the starting, and um, starting so far out from the AC. That's why we're here. Got two boats in, and really trying to get everyone's skills up and and ready. And you know, the campaign will flip between racing mode and, and development mode. And um, you know, it's fun as a sailor and as a racer to be in racing mode at the moment. Awesome, awesome. Now we've, we've, we're having two boats on the water: the, the LEQ and the AC40. The AC40, am I right to say that it's in one design mode all the time? Yeah. 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 It's a wonderful benchmark and we can notice some subtle differences. I think the rakes were slightly different today. I mean, this is just me and an eyeball. It's not, no rulers out. Uh, but yeah, it looked like the AC40 was carrying slightly more rake than the, than the uh, LEQ. Also, upwind in, in that top end stuff, the top quarter panel of the, not so much the AC40, but the LEQ, you seem to be almost negative shape in the top of the main. Is that something you're trying to do? That's the beauty of development sales, isn't it? And, and doing multiple iterations of sales, you try and work out what wind range you want the sails in and what you want them to do up and down the wind range. So, you know, it's no secret you want them flatter when it's windier and deeper when it's lighter. And, you know, a lot of our sailing so far has been, you know, middle to upper end. And, you know, we're really looking to try and get the two boats in the water and the lighter breeze to see, you know, how our sail design program is going and um, also you know there's benefits of having an autopilot keeping the boat really nice and locked in versus manual flight control and you know having you know two boats that are identical except for kind of how you actually sail them um, you know it's fascinating for us you know we learn lots from that and uh, you know it's pretty insightful to, to go back and review the data and, and try and work out how you can improve. Fantastic now Nathan we're, we're we're getting sort of close to, to people revealing their cards a little bit with the, with the um, AC75s coming online down the, down the way a bit. Is there anything you feel Team New Zealand, Emirates Team New Zealand, could have done to be in a better place than they are now? Not really. Not really? I don't know, like it's, it's a new team for me, but you know, comparing it to teams I've been with in the past, the, the team is so organised, there's such a good structure here. You know, there's a good idea on what we're trying to achieve and a good understanding of what the competition are up to. Um, so it's going to come down to, 
you know, how good the tools are, how good the on-water testing pro program has gone to make the right decisions in a couple of months when you have to push play on, you know, committing to building all this stuff. So, you know, the team's done a fantastic job since the last Cup's finished and, you know, getting ready and preparing for, for the next defence. Nathan, thank you very much for your time uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.